So if you haven't been living under a rock, then you know about the new CBA proposals that the NFL has put out. 17 game season. Seven teams on each side of the conference going into the playoffs. Only the one seed gets to buy. I don't know who or what was high enough to make this. Because, I mean, there, there's no reason to change what doesn't need to be changed. Now, I, I was waiting for an opportunity to make this video. And here we are. We're talking about it now. There is no reason to go to 17 games at all. If you're going to go to 17 games, hell, take that 17th game off the schedule. No 17th game. 18-week season. 18-week season. 16 games per team. You know, normal, normal NFL schedule. But instead of 17 weeks, it's 18 weeks. Two bye weeks. You know, for that 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 sweet, that sweet delicious Thursday night hoot deal that shouldn't exist at all, uh, to allow better to allow better time frames for teams to rest. You know, it'll be like ten days. You know, you know you get the Thursday game, you get a bye, then you come home back next week, and then there you go. But no, this is I don't know what in the world this is. It looks disgusting. A 17 game season, which I'm presuming, you know, there's going to be like eight games or something like London and then like another eight somewhere else. I don't know. So NFL's thinking about college stadiums. NFL's thinking about Mexico. I don't like it. And the preseason shortened to three games per team. That is totally fine, you know, the preseason being shortened at the very least. You know, if you're not gonna compare, if you're not gonna go all in with it, you know, you know, a preseason, you know, a preseason, and everything. Which, to be honest, I don't care. I don't talk about the preseason at all. I don't talk about the NFL until September when it's time for the regular season to begin. Uh, as far as like games goes, and and meanwhile, you know, this sort of proposal. The Rams would make the playoffs this year, and the Steelers would have made the playoffs this year. Nobody want that. Nobody, nobody want those two teams the playoffs. Damn. So a fourteen team playoff is already a no go uh, for me, at the very least. Um, Twelve teams is totally fine. It is the perfect number, and you know, sure there have been some years where it's like, ugh. This team went seven and nine, or eight and eight, or nine and seven, barely winning their division, or something like that, or winning their division because they suck the least. Yeah, sure. There's been years where it's been like that. Man. People are gonna be like, "Oh, well, they don't deserve a playoff game. They don't deserve a home game." Bleh. Well, I mean, honestly, there's things where it's just like it's out of our control at this point. So. And, 12 team playoff, it isn't completely perfect, but it is the best playoff system out there, to be completely honest with you. So, doing all this stuff is just stupid. Meanwhile, 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 on the front of those dot gone Dallas Cowboys, because we have to talk about it. What about Dak? What's he gonna do? Is he gonna get that 30 million plus? Is he gonna get that franchise tag? What about Tom Brady? Could Tom Brady be coming to Big D? Or could he be coming to Tennessee? Or could he be coming to the Vegas Raiders, baby? Could Tom Brady be coming to Vegas? What about Phillip Rivers? Where's he going? Is he going to Miami? Is he going to Tampa? Is he going to Jacksonville? Because he's at least living in Florida now. Where is he going? Where is the old man going? So... We don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going on with NFL free agents. There's already been people that have gotten waived and stuff like that. Like, look at this. Look, Damon Harris got released by Lions. Um, I know Principal Cabrera got released as well. Man, it, 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 it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I was like, man. Yeah, they did. And Taylor and Tyler Gabriel. 
got released as well. I don't know what in the world is going on there. What in the world the Bears were thinking, releasing them both. Um, but you know it is what it is. I'm guessing the Bears are like, you know, rebuilding, reloading their defense because they beat that defense. Looked like it could go to the playoffs last year. I'm not going to lie. I thought, I thought it was going to go to the playoffs, you know, for the Bears. But they didn't. They didn't even come close to sniffing the playoffs. So, that's what's going to happen uh, but yeah, uh, as we get closer and closer to April. The draft and stuff's coming up. And there was some comments by, T I think it was by Tua, about, about the Cowboys too. I don't know where. But, I don't really care. It's Tua's... Tua's draft stock has honestly gone down a little bit for me. Uh, because the man gets injured a lot. But we're not going to talk about that right now. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is a crazy time in the NFL. What do you guys think of the new rule changes? Um, or at least the proposed new things that could happen to the playoffs in the regular season as far as games goes. You know. Because I don't know. I honestly do not know. I don't really like these ideas. But hey, they could grow on me. You know, just like everybody else. But, um, well, who really you know? We'll have to wait and see and find out what's going to happen. But, um, maybe these will pass. Maybe they won't. And who's going to pick up some of these players like Prince Bukamara or Tyler Gabriel or um, Damon Harrison who's going to pick up some of these players from these teams that have released these well, honestly these some good players that they've released what about the free agencies what about the free agency stuff who's going to pick up Dak who's going to pick up Brady who's going to pick up Phillip Rivers who's going to pick up any other big signings that I haven't talked about but we'll find out as the days go on and we'll find out what in the world's going to happen. But that's going to do it, everybody. See you guys in the next video. Toodles.